西暦2020年人間の世界をつなぐネットワークそこにはデジモンと呼ばれる未知の生命体が息づいている。Hey, what's up, Tamers? My name's Dad from Dadgetopia, and I came in first place undefeated in the most previous Digitamer series qualifier event hosted by Battlecore. By the way, first ever video that I'm going to be using my、uh, new、uh, AV sprite. I really love、uh, Galmon and everything, as well as like Rowlet, but when it comes to Digimon, I got to represent in some way, shape, or form. In my previous deck profile for Blue Omni Turbo, I said I'm not going to make a third video. For Blue Omni. So, this is what you got.、Uh, basically, me talking about my experience,、uh, my matchups, and everything, instead of just giving you a clear just deck profile video again. Because the deck didn't really change that much, to be honest. It just kind of changed towards the meta. I'm not playing Loader Leoman. Actually, a picture should be on the screen right now of my deck profile that I used.、Uh, I still use w e r g u r u m a n I use one w e r g u r u m a n promo, one trial deck. And I now use Volcanitramon because a lot of people are using、uh, Rookie Rush now. Or, well, a lot of people revert to Rookie Rush and everything when their hands are completely trash, which I don't blame them for. I've done it too.、Uh, you can actually see a lot of the matchups and a lot of the games and everything that I was in in Battlecore's live stream, at least their part two live stream.、Uh, I was at table one, so I feel like a few of the matches you'll be able to see. Uh, it's not every single match wasn't you know, me and everything, so you can also just enjoy their live stream and see like, a lot of competitive players and all that. Honestly, I really enjoy this event and I want it an invite to their final series. So, the prize support, right?、Uh, first place got a Digitamer Series playmat, Crest of Knowledge tag,、uh, a Digitamer Series certificate, and an invitation to the final series. While second place got a playmat, a certificate, And another invite, and then third place only gets a playmat. I really wanted an invite.、Uh, I practiced, you know, throughout the 1.0 meta and everything. You've seen my deck profiles. I have a lot more practice with blue Omni Turbo.、Um, and plus, you know, blue is like my favorite color in this game. I think I have like a lot more synergy with it, to say the least. And honestly, my friend group and everything, I. Only really have practice against other colors.、Uh, no one else really plays Blue Turbo Omni. It's just kind of me. And I'm not saying that that's a, you know, a terrible thing or anything. It's just you know,、uh, the state of Michigan.、Uh, I live in Michigan and there is no open play. My only practice against Blue Omni is from experience from other events as well as even this event、uh, pro play games, luxury, etc. I get more experience playing against Blue Omni with Blue Omni rather than if I were to use my Pokemon toolbox, sadly. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. I have more practice with Blue Omni, so I'm going to use Blue Omni, especially since this is probably like the last 1.0 tournament I'm going to be entering until 1.5 drops in a few weeks. So, with all that said and everything, yeah, if you can tell from my score, that should be appearing on the screen right now. I really wanted that invite.、Um, And, like, you know, there's. It was kind of like a race against time, too, because、uh, Battlecore has been doing this qualifier event for a while now. And next、uh, Saturday, this coming up Saturday, is going to be their tournament of reliability.、Uh, again, we'll give, you know, same kind of prize support, but instead of first place, we'll get the Crest of Reliability tag and everything. It's going to be their six out of,、uh, you know, tournament six out of eight. There was only eight qualifier events. I was running out of time. And I said, there's no time for experimentation. I really want to be able to get, go into their final series. And I just love the,、uh, what's called, whoever's the graphic designer for Battlecore is amazing. Their thumbnails are on point,、um, their, their posters and banners are on point. I really enjoy it a lot. I went and learned graphic design in high school. So it's like, I love, I can really appreciate a really good poster, a really good play mat, a really good、uh, you know, digital you know, banner, and et cetera. And I really like their graphic. Whoever's in charge of graphic design is just amazing, in my opinion.、Um, and to be honest and everything, like, if you also probably, if you probably play competitively and everything, I honestly suggest that if you can like, probably ask more questions to Battlecore and everything and see when their final series will be, if, you're, if your schedule is willing, I suggest that you try to enter these events as well. Because you know, it's a good way to experience. 
to get to gain more experience in a webcam tournament to begin with. Um, you can use your 1.0 deck and everything, and then like when the event comes and everything, if you have a 1.5 deck, that'll probably be better because the meta changes almost drastically when 1.5 drops out, in my opinion. I don't think strictly Blue Omnimon Turbo is going to be able to cut it in 1.5, but they have a few more events. I really suggest if you have the confidence to enter, by all means, at least try. You know, and I think that, you know, the fact that they're sending out a crest that corresponds with the tournament uh, is really cool. Uh, a playmat, everybody needs playmats. Uh, I have a lot of playmats and everything. I still want more playmats. I collect playmats. At a certain point, I'm just going to start hanging them up on my wall because <laughs> I have a lot of playmats already, but I, I want to see the, what their Digitamer series playmat is. And, yeah, like, I... Again, like I didn't want to make another deck profile video of just Blue Turbo Omnimon. Basically, it, it'll sh again, show up on the screen. One Wergurumon promo. One Wergurumon, Wergurumon trial deck. Uh, Volcanodramon instead of Metal Seedramon because people are running uh, Rookie Rush a lot more. It's just pure Rookie Rush or like Blue Green, Blue Yellow. Like, you know, Blue Yellow, like Contorismon, Rookie Rush. And I just didn't, I, I'm, since I'm seeing it more, I can justify running Volcanogermon, and again, it can Digivolve into Omnimon because it's a rare Digimon. Um, so, like, you know, it really came in clutch uh, during at least, like, game two, I believe. It's called, I think my second round, I believe it came in clutch a lot because my opponent, they just kind of devolved into Rookie Rush, and I said, okay, I need to stop this. Um, and I was actually surprised, right? So, what I like about uh, battle core, battle core's events lately, right? It's the fact that you're not just blue on me, blue on me, blue on me. I actually went against um, someone had the black uh, tournament promo cards. Uh, lucky them again. I'm in Michigan, can't get those in general because <laughs> uh, no one's hosting any kind of locals events, sadly. So like, I was surprised, uh, but I knew what they did because you know they're super expensive online, and I I wanted the purple tournament promos because Venom Iotis Mon looks so good. And then you see the Demi Devi, uh, Demi Devi Mon, which would kind of like make it easier to run less Pagumon in 1.0, to be honest. Uh, but I digress. My first matchup was black. Uh, my other matchups were like, you know, blue Turbo Omni, but it was like that good reprieve. And then like one of my other matches was like purple, and they figured out how to use Metal Guru Mon in 1.0. And like the only reason I feel like I wasn't like, you know, surprised by what they were doing and everything is because I also play purple and I know what Metal Guru Mon does because I've been trying to make Metal Guru Mon work for the longest. <laughs> and yeah, like, what's it called? I feel like I'm a, I feel, I, I talk to my friends a lot and everything. I feel like I'm a well-rounded player. I play almost everything except black. Uh, black requires a lot of patience. I'm not patient. But because I know the card pool and I play some of these colors, like, you know, I play a, a lot. I'm a blue, green, and purple player. So when I go against green and purple and everything, I kind of know what to take out and what to get rid of immediately, right? You know, if I see that you're doing good and everything, I know why you're doing good. And if I see that you're struggling, I know what you're trying to do, if that makes sense. So, like, uh, I believe that during my final match and everything, right? During the fifth match, um, I kind of like, how do I say it? I knew that my opponent's hand was awful, uh, mainly because, you know, of what they were doing. So if I could have went into Omni and got rid of their level five, to get rid of their level six that they hard cast or anything, I would do it. It doesn't matter if I had a, uh, I, you know, I would go like metal, I would go metal, swing, guru man, unsuspend. And instead of swinging again, I would immediately just go into um, Omnimon, and because there is always that risk of hitting into something, hitting into a Plessio, hitting into another Omnimon. So I didn't want to lose my medal, and I really did want to make sure I set my opponent back so they would still have to hard cast something. Um, so I took advantage of the fact that I knew, you know, what a bad hand looks like in Blue Omni. Uh, yeah, I went, you know, 5-0, and oh, and that's actually, this is actually the first time like, ever I went undefeated in any kind of like card game event. So I think it's, I think the practice was well worth it. <laughs> My deck didn't hate me. Uh, I had some bad hands, you know, certain, certain games and everything. And that's where deck building comes in clutch. 
the three Zudomon really do come in handy. And honestly, like, I feel as if I will play, like, Zudomon. Like, I'm making an all-force deck right now. I'm, I'm trying to see how many Zudomon I'm going to run, because I'm thinking I'm running four. I just max them out. Uh, hopefully, they're going to follow on that soon. I'm just still test playing it. And I really enjoy Battlecore's events in general. When you talk to Battlecore, when you talk to, like, their tournament organizers and everything, they give you... Yeah, everything straight. Like you don't, you're not surprised. The only reason you're surprised is if you don't read beforehand. So they do the events. They do their events really differently. They do their point system differently. They uh, go to five rounds. Period. I was undefeated at round four, but we still went to round five because there's always a chance of someone increasing their rank and maybe stealing second place, maybe stealing third place, and everything. And they tell you that from the beginning. There is no reason for someone to be extremely confused if you talk to them. If you simply say, hey, uh, I read all of the stuff and everything, but I still have more questions and everything. They're actually very, uh, you know, very Mustang is the person that I usually like text and everything because I believe he was the main tournament organizer. And he's really professional. He uh, gets to you as soon as he can. You know, of course, he has a life and everything, but... Like, whenever you had any sort of, like, real question or anything, he would try his best to answer your questions, to uh, listen listen out to you and everything. And, you know, that really makes the difference in an event. Um, a lot of people are trying to do webcam events. Not all of them are doing it correctly. Not all of them are doing it the right way. So when you can find that Discord server that is actually really good and you know, that can answer your questions, that can talk to you like you're a human being, you stay there. I'm staying in Battle Course Discord because I like their events. I got it. I finally did my mission, succeeded in getting an invite to the final series, and I just can't wait. Uh, and honestly, I'm really hoping to go against, oh my gosh. So, uh, it was like their event, um, there was the H, H Gaming hosted this event, and Battle Core was in it too, and I lost... Oh my, I got stomped by one of Battlecore's like team members, man. He was running Kentorismon, Rookie Rush, and I remember that that <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like trying to sound like too competitive or anything, but like that dude was such an amazing player, and I got stomped out. And I was just like, I really hope I can go against this guy again. <laughs> I don't know his name. I smell feel so bad. I he he is a team member of Battlecore. He absolutely demolished me. And I really want to go against them again. I'm going to figure it out eventually. I don't know. But, like, yeah, I, they have some really good players over there, man. So I'm hoping that maybe some of them might be actually in the tournament. And maybe I'll come across them again. Like, maybe I'll be able to get my rematch. Well, not rematch. But hopefully I get a second match with them and everything. See if I've gotten better over time. But, dude, they got some good players. Uh, they got some good players in their events. They got some good players on their team. Uh, their staff is amazing. In my opinion, there's still some time to there's still some time to sign up for the tournaments and everything. You can sign up for the tournament of reliability. As of recording this video, you can still sign up to my knowledge. Um, so I'll have the link in the description. I'll have the link to their live stream where you can see a few of the matches that I was in. You can see the competitive uh, side of Dev's Utopia. Uh, and you can also like try to sign up for their future events and hopefully get an invite to the final series. And then, of course, you know, just tell them, I, tell them that Dev's Utopia sent you if you do end up going. Uh, it's called, because honestly, I don't know how, but like, I fell in love with their, the way that they're doing things almost immediately. Uh, and I, you know, I've entered in a lot of webcam tournaments, a lot more than, than like, my usual, like, friend group and everything. I just appreciate the idea of someone doing it the right way. And to my knowledge, Battlecore is doing it the right way. Being honest, being uh, straightforward with all of the information that they have, etc., etc. Max videos, max two videos of, of one specific deck and everything, unless there's a drastic difference. The reason why this isn't a pure deck profile video is because there is no drastic difference. Um, I just had more practice with my deck. And I entered this tournament and I said, I really want to win. And my deck said, okay, fine. We won't brick as often now. <laughs> and, you know, matchups, of course, play a part in it too and everything. 
And like, you know, I'm going to keep pushing. I hope that I can do good in the um, final series event because it's going to be a new meta. So I need to practice with Sarasmon. I need to practice with, uh, I play green. I'm playing, I'm playing Sarasmon. I'm playing uh, Imperial Jamon. I'm going to figure out if I can make all force work. Because all force is a little bit slow, but I think I figured something out. It's called, I can't wait for the official Digimon tournament uh, that's going to be happening. I can't wait for Battle Core. I can't wait to see what how Digimon keeps going with their tournament scenes and their competitive scene. And I'm all here for it, you know. And I just encourage that if you do have some confidence in your deck and everything, that you just try. Uh, just attempt. And again, if you go to Battle Core's Digitamer series and everything and you enter, uh, just tell them that Dejitopia sent you. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Just want to let you guys know that my amazing Gaumon Chibi style avatar was made by Zing Tour. It's all because of him. I appreciate him so much. And if you can or anything, you can check out a lot of his other artwork on his Instagram page. I don't really, I'm not sure if he's taking commissions still, uh, but you can always just try to send a DM and ask. Uh, but yeah, he does a lot of like artwork for Digimon. Uh, he does a lot of fan art and everything for Digimon. So you might have already saw some of his work in the Facebook group as well. And honestly, just give him a follow. Look at his art. If you like it, cool. Like, follow him too. I also have social media. So again, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.